Well, believe it or not, it's time to start thinking about Christmas gifts. And here is an idea for a Christmas present you might want to consider. How about giving your family history? It's history for Christmas. Well, in Heart of the Mid-South today, we find out how some folks are doing just that. That's right, Brenda. They are doing it through the brainchild of two Memphis women and their tape recorder. When were you born, Miss Williams? July 23rd, 1909. For the next hour, Elmira Williams will be talking about the past. But I, my grandfather was a slave. He was born a slave, but he was part Irish and part Scotch and part African. Her trip through the past is being led by Dr. Margaret Halley and Lenore Steffens, two women who had the idea of taping oral histories from senior citizens. We won to... Uh, interview these people and let them have their lives for their family for a Christmas present. Mary Lee and Ed Cox have been married 41 years. They're being taped together. To find out that we had eight or ten men aboard that could play well and so we formed a group and had an old vaudeville comedian and formed a show and we entertained all over the South Pacific and the Mediterranean for that matter. I started with WMC when I was 12 years old with Uncle John Claygorn <laughs> and Young America Sings. That's where mainly I, and that and dancing, that I got any experience and exposure. These interviews are being conducted at the Lewis Center, but the two women who call themselves Memories Incorporated have taped at other centers. Each interview lasts an hour, and though they have a list of questions, they usually improvise. We like people to amble, preamble, go off on tangents that are of interest. We don't stick yes, no, 1918, no, it was 1920. Just the wrinkles of life, the shadings of life, which will be fascinating to, you keep talking about children. I think it, I'm talking in terms of great-grandchildren. They have had fascinating lives, the people that we've interviewed, and we're really very fortunate to come across these people. And for the folks who have that hour of conversation recorded for them, well, it's important. It used to mean anything to me, Nancy, but now I think it's very important uh, if I said a person's life to sort of leave something behind, not in a hurry to do that, but uh, to leave something behind for people and they can say, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that, you know. Tradition and heritage is come, becoming fast a thing of the past than it shouldn't be. I mean, that's the way you keep your families alive, is keeping by word of mouth. It means a lot because I don't know how long I'll be hanging around here, so later on somebody else might get some inspiration from what I have done, or uh, learn not to make the same mistakes, maybe. And it's also a chance for future generations to remember more than family pictures. How about a philosophy? Might as well dance, it ain't gonna get no better. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Those interviews were arranged by the Lewis Senior Citizen Center, and I will tell you that Memories Incorporated is booked through Christmas of this year.